I only have my permit, so I have to have someone with me. And as of now, it doesn't really have a passenger seat. It has a lawn chair. So. <laughs> and part of the floor where in the back was supposed to be metal, I sort of decided to fall out and rust away. So I got a piece of wood I had lying around and slapped that in there, put a lawn chair on top of that, called it good. <laughs> and all those are belt crates so you can, you know, you can sit through. <laughs> Not comfortable. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's been quite, I mean, it's been quite a project, and then, but there's a whole bunch of little things, you know, I gotta do people. Like, you should take your driver's test in that thing. I'm like, you know, your driver's test, they require you to back up straight for about 50 feet. This thing, it's a little bit of play in the steering, move your wheel about this much before either wheel decides to make a decision as to which way it will point. And backing up, I've tried. <laughs> Cars going like that, you can't back up straight. <laughs> going forward, it's okay. And once I was had to drive it to my uh, drive it from my dad's, I decided to take it down to my dad's house for a week. And, oh, great! And driving it there, and <laughs> yeah, things all over the plane is here. So that's a thing that I got to work out. In it. <laughs> so he says, "Well, oh, you're going 35 miles an hour on that thing, and ooh. <laughs> now it's got a higher ratio rear end of it. I've got to rebuild that steering before <laughs> I do much of anything else." And I said, "Almost every, I mean, a lot of this car was given to me. I mean, these wheels, they aren't mine. I've got to get those back until I find them. These are 1915 wheels." And this thing's 1926, and a guy down the Mall Club opened up the back of his truck, and there was all his 1926 wheels and tires. So, I mean, I've really had a lot of help from people. I'm really thankful for it. I mean, because, I mean, like I said, it wouldn't have been where it is right now. I mean, <laughs> so, I mean, like, like I said, the rear axle was given to me, the engine was given to me. So, a lot of it, I mean, it's all mismatched. I mean, the engine's 1917, the axle's uh, early 20s, and this thing's like a 1926, and the wheels are 1915. But, I mean, it's, <laughs> who cares? I mean, it's, it's driving. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's been quite an adventure getting this thing, you know, people are like, you need to patch up these rust holes here. I'm like, but yeah, if I patch it up, you have that shiny metal in the paint, it wouldn't look right. I, I had I was ordering parts here, and this thing was missing a headlight ring. And I ordered this headlight ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look good. You know, yeah. you know, so, that, so this morning, when guys like, you know, I got a rusty headlight ring in the back of my truck. You can have it. Do that. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look quite right. And Billy asked me, "What's the block of wood for?" I don't have an emergency brake. <laughs> That's your emergency brake. So there's a few things I gotta work out. Oh, ignition cut off. <laughs> <laughs> so, the driver's side door doesn't open, the two top two hinges are gone. This one's completely gone. This one is sort of there. That one is still there. And I opened up the door and it fell on. I was like, oh, try to lock that back up. And I looked, I went online. There's a company out of Massachusetts called Lanes that I love the parts for. They make basically everything. I looked at the price, it was $60 a hinge. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, I'm going to find a used pair. And then just today, you know, like from New Hampshire, I was like, hey, I got one of these bodies sitting like down in, back in my backyard. It's got some hinges on them. I can take them off and mail them to you. Oops. Okay. Because, I mean, I'd rather get those old used ones for free than pay $60 a hinge for you want. Yeah. You see, you're and like, yeah, I got a rusty, this, this little tail I sent you up. I ordered from Lang, you know, nice shiny black paint. But if that doesn't look right. So I took me slightly sanded it, you know, just to <laughs> make it look right and stuff. You know, I found these 1926 license plates for it up here at the museum. I found all those parts. But I said, you know, you should patch that up. You should brace that. And one of Richard Peake's videos on YouTube, like that, one, that running board's about to run away. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm, until it falls off, I'm going <laughs> to wait a little bit. <laughs>